Master here. Okay, I am going to show you guys the left hook of the day. Lesson of the day. There's one every fucking day as long as this coronavirus quarantine is in place. So if it's, it's in place for a year, you'll get 365 lessons. There, there won't be a day that goes by that you won't get a lesson. Today's lesson is the bullfighter hook. Okay, a bullfighter hook, I call it the bullfighter hook because you're like a bullfighter, okay? And it looks counterintuitive because you're going away from the hook. But I know you guys have seen very, very brutal knockouts with that hook. Like, I think it's a Ricky Hatton against, uh, didn't Mayweather catch him with that? Mayweather waited on the, uh, the, the ropes, and as soon as Ricky Hatton rushed in, he just tapped his chin with the uh, bullfighter hook. You gotta remember guys, when you hit the chin, they go to sleep, okay? So if you're moving away from it, you can still generate enough power. So you pivot on the ball of the front foot, and you're like the bullfighter. Pretend you have the cape, and you're just going, what do they say? Do they say something? Ole? They say ole, okay, so you're going ole, but you're like ole with the left hook. So you're up against the cage, the guy's rushing you. Most guys, when they rush you, they're gonna either throw a right hand, okay? So when they start, to, uh, they start uh, going for a, a right hand, right? They're open for the hook. Or a lot of guys going for the shot, their hands go down. So either way, the bullfighter hook is very effective. And as soon as you're here, he comes in, pop. You just pivot out of the way, and that's the bullfighter hook. And that is your lesson for the day. You're welcome.